Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, we're going to be going over the Modern Warfare beta and my impressions of playing Ground War. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. The year is 2019, and Call of Duty is changing, and we now have a 32 vs 32 mode in Call of Duty, similar to Battlefield. I got to play the Ground War mode in Call of Duty, and at first I was kind of skeptical. I thought the mode was kind of too chaotic and the spawns were awful. But as time went on, I noticed people started spreading out across the map and capturing different locations. The level on the ground war mode had large battles of two mashing forces at the center of the map that led to fierce fighting and chaotic spawning. This made me think about maps similar to this in Battlefield. And one I kept thinking about is Operation Metro. Just overwhelming chaos, joy, and fun. By the end of the day, that was my opinion of the ground war mode in Call of Duty. Overwhelmed with chaos, joy, and fun. In this gameplay I captured, I went 40 and 10 with the MK2. It's a gun with a two hit body shot and a one hit kill to the head. Now I noticed this gun had a lot of aim assist, practically aiming itself to people says with the holographic sights. But it's insanely fun to use, and it's quick, and most of the time if you miss, you die because you can't get the second shot off quick enough. So to me, it was surprising I did so well so soon with this weapon, seeing how I did not have time to level it up completely. Another unique thing about this gameplay is I dropped my first white phosphorus. I watched it come in and blanket the entire map. I could hear people coughing while I ran through buildings searching for people to kill. I was kind of surprised by how little kills I actually got with this. I only got like 4 kills but I ended up getting like 15 assists. It was really interesting to see the entire map blanketed with this gas. It's a new kill streak in Call of Duty, and one you cannot escape from, and one you do not want to be on the other side of. My impressions of the beta so far, and overall for the game, are positive. I truly think this was one of the best Call of Duties in years, and I like the old school direction this game is taking. However, one glaring downfall is that there is no Blackout or Battle Royale mode for the game at this point in time. It's rumored there will be one coming out in 2020, but at this time nothing is confirmed. And in Black Ops 4, I've spent around 22 days of game time in Call of Duty Blackout, compared to 6 days of game time in the multiplayer. The standard 6 for 6 mindless running around and gunning days serve me no more interest. I want bigger game modes, more players, better ideas, and just everything in general better. And we are finally seeing some changes in Call of Duty. Why? Because of falling sales numbers year over year and increased competitions that are changing the directions of online gaming. And the game I'm talking about is Fortnite which pretty much played its hand and forced Sony to open up to Xbox and PS4 crossplay by being so incredibly successful. Now we are seeing crossplay in Call of Duty. This is great for the PC community, which usually sees its numbers of active players drop drastically throughout the year. Crossplay will keep the community alive long after it would have died out. Crossplay is good, and I can't see a negative from a consumer's perspective. The only downfall with crossplay at the moment is there is no in-game option for party chat. If you join a game, you are forced to speak with the entire lobby. Also, the microphone quality in the game chat is pretty rubbish. It's not clear like you would have in a private party. So hopefully this is one of those things that gets improved when the game actually launches on October 25th. Otherwise, if you're cross-platform, you do have the option to text chat with people. And if you are one of the few peoples with a keyboard hooked up to your console, you can press the enter button at any point in time, and you can even text chat while you're in-game running around by pressing enter on the keyboard. And speaking of keyboard, I spent about 5 hours playing with my keyboard and mouse set up on my PlayStation 4, and I was kind of surprised how well it worked. There are a lot of options for keyboard and mouse users to adjust their settings and remap buttons on their keyboard. The only downfall on my PlayStation 4 is you will realize you have no more USB ports to plug in any more devices, which kind of sucks unless you have a USB hub. Also when you're joining a match, it was cool to see other people in the lobby playing on a keyboard and mouse and knowing what console or platform they're playing on. It will be fun playing against other people with different inputs and different platforms as people battle against each other for online bragging rights to see who is better. 
However, for me, it's not a question of which console is better. It's who I have the most people to play on, and that tends to be the PlayStation 4 console. And that's why I like the PlayStation 4 the most, just because I have the most friends on it. However, in the future, I'd like to see some crossplay tournaments to settle this once and for all. Who is the best? Xbox, PlayStation, or the PC? But one thing is for sure, all the pro players will be playing on PlayStation 4. Why? Because it's the platform of choice for the Call of Duty Pro League. But hey, maybe this year is the year Call of Duty will finally be popular enough on PC where they're going to be actually hosting multiple tournaments. This is a far stretch, but that's the reason there is little to no tournaments on Call of Duty for the PC. The community on Call of Duty for PC just isn't there like it is on consoles. It's not very popular. Also, Infinity War will be adding a League Play option later on to Modern Warfare. And the rumor mill is there will be 38 maps in the game with an additional remaster map like uh, Rust, possibly Terminal, Subbase from MW2. And we already know there's 2 vs 2, 6 vs 6, 10 vs 10, 20 vs 20, and 32 vs 32. A lot of modes and a lot of maps. And in regards to gameplay, there are many things in the beta that need fixing like weapon balancing, spawn locations, which are very awful at the moment. Spawning in front of people and getting shot instantly was very common. Also, blue screen on the PlayStation 4 where the game crashes to the home screen was very annoying. This happened to me three times in an hour. But the best thing about these issues are... Infinity Ward has a month to fix them, and hopefully we won't be seeing these issues at launch. Fingers crossed. One issue I did not surprisingly have was rubber banding issues, like server lag, latency issues. This year's Call of Duty no longer has peer-to-peer -peer connections, but is using dedicated servers, which will have a much quicker, more reliable connection for everyone. This has been a request from the PC community for Call of Duty for many years. It's finally been answered. I think because of the increased competition once again from other games, Call of Duty was forced to add more options to make their games better so they can compete against other games. Let's be honest, if Call of Duty kept going down the same direction it was headed, it would have gone down the same direction as Guitar Hero and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater if they didn't do something soon to this Call of Duty and make it bigger and better. I'm looking forward to this year's Call of Duty. My calendar is marked for October 25th, 2019, and I'm excited from what I've seen. Such smooth animation, realistic sounds, and an improved engine that makes this game look modern. I think Modern Warfare will be the Call of Duty to bring back many gamers who have put this series on the back burner. It's pure nostalgia, and maybe that's the reason I love this Call of Duty so much. It reminds me of being in college and slaying noobs with a one-hit burst from Moss and shredding kids as they spawn in the store on Terminal across the map. Overall, I put in around 35 hours of gameplay in the 10 days of the open beta, and I really enjoyed playing this, and I think you will too when it comes out on October 25th, 2019.